In the video that you just watched, Professor Ward mentioned that um, every quadratic equation could be solved using the quadratic formula, and that is true. Um, he did make one mistake, though. Um, when he said that it was a missing term, the uh, coefficient of that term is automatically 1. What he should have said there was 0. So let's take a look at an example where that's going to be the case. 2x squared is equal to 250. To solve this using the quadratic formula, we have to move the 250 over. And then what we've got to think about here is that this is 2x squared plus 0 times x minus 250 equals 0. So a is 2, b is 0, c is negative 250. Then using the formula, and it's always a good idea to write it down first before you start plugging in numbers, opposite b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. Plugging in the numbers, we'll have the opposite of 0, plus or minus the square root of 0 squared, minus 4 times 2 times negative 250, divided by 2 times 2. Simplifying that, We'll have plus or minus the square root of 2,000 over 4, which we don't want to leave that way. Um, technically, it's correct. But um, 2,000 does have a perfect square. That's a factor. We can rewrite 2,000 as 400 times 5. So 20 square roots of 5 divided by 4, 4 divides into 25 times. So plus or minus 5 square roots of 5 would be your final answer. Now this is a problem where, yeah, tech, you know, you can see the quadratic formula works, but using square roots works faster. So even though the quadratic formula is guaranteed to always work on every equation, it's not always going to be the simplest thing to do or the easiest thing to do. If you take a look at the equation again, 2x squared equals 250, divide both sides by 2, you get x squared is equal to 125. This we can take a square root of both sides. And then 125 is 25 times 5, and the square root of 25 is 5 square roots of 5. So that's just an example that illustrates that although the quadratic formula does always work, it's not always the easiest thing to do. But if you can't figure out any one of the other simpler methods to make them work, then go with the quadratic formula.